Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. Let's discuss the Monty Hall problem. You're on a game show where you have the choice to pick door number one, two, or three. Behind two of the doors is nothing, and behind one of the doors is a car. You pick door number one. The host who knows the location of the car shows you door number two is nothing. Do you stay on door number one, or do you switch to door number three? Switching to door number three is actually the much better choice statistically, even though it seems like staying and switching should not matter. Let's do an experiment to illustrate why. We are going to randomize the location of the car, and we're going to imagine picking one of the doors where the car isn't and deciding whether it's better to stay on door number one or switch to door numbers two or three whichever one was not empty. Initially, it seems like staying or switching does not matter. But as we do the experiment a hundred times, we find that switching is a much better strategy, almost two times better than staying. The reason is that when you stay, you only win when the car was initially behind door number one. When you switch, you will win if the car was behind doors number two or three. The Montiel problem seems like a paradox because of how it's stated. Imagine the host tells you, look, you can stay on door number one and you'll win only if the car is behind that door. Or I'll allow you to switch to win on doors number two or three. And by the way, when you switch, I'll open one of those doors where the car is not behind. Now it's obvious that switching allows you to win for two doors, whereas staying only allows you to win for one door. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can support Mind Your Decisions on Patreon to get exclusive rewards. You can also catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, or get my books at Amazon.